Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Blake, AKA Tex, and in today's video, I'm excited to introduce my new day trading journal for 2022. Yes, I have finally finished this thing, but I think you can see that the wait was well worth it. So in this video, we're gonna walk you through all of the features that I incorporated into this journal, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get your hands on it. So as always, guys, I really do appreciate you watching. Let's go and roll the intro and we'll jump right in. All right, guys, so as we take a look at this journal, we're gonna start out here on the dashboard and take a look at all these metrics I was able to incorporate in one place. Now we are utilizing the pivot table feature that comes with Microsoft Excel. So you do have to be running the software on your computer. It is not gonna work on Microsoft Excel for the web and it's definitely not gonna work with Google Sheets. But as you can see, we have metrics all across the top of the journal here that are incredibly helpful. Of course, our, our net return, things like our profit factor, our average return. Uh, this one I especially love, our average risk it's on a trade weighted basis so we can see with uh, the entire sample size of trades that I put into this demo journal there's 36 trades in here on average we're realizing a little over two times our risk we can see how we are doing on losing trades and winning trades as well and the total R that we've been able to realize of course our winning percentage here and then we can see our performance across all of our accounts directly compared to that of the S&P 500 great way to see if we're beating the market or not some of the charts we have for example overall performance performance, uh, we're seeing the sum of our return directly compared to the sum of our risk. So tying into this whole average risk thing here, we're able to see, you know, how much money we made directly compared to how much we had to risk. And then the risk to reward chart uh, is one of my favorites, honestly, because this is looking at this is helping us visualize how much R we realized on a trade by trade basis. So for example, on the first trade in the journal here, we realized almost a three and a half R trade. On the second trade here, we had a one R loss and so on. So we can really help you know, use this to help us visualize how we're performing in terms of risk to reward. Again, tying into that theme here, we can track up to 10 different setups in the journal. Each of them can be given unique names. You can customize those. And we can see how we are performing on each of those setups directly compared to our risk that we had to put on for that performance. So obviously the PCH setup, definitely our most profitable here, almost $25,000 in profit. We had to risk $6,500 though to make that. And then over here on the bottom, we can see that the flag setup seems to be our least profitable, losing about $6,200, okay? So as you can see, a great way to visualize your overall performance and help you find your edge in the market. As we scroll down towards the bottom, of course, we have our weekday performance, our time of day, and trade duration. So the trade duration is actually calculated in units of minutes. So with that in mind, the journal really is kind of designed for day trading in mind, but you can also use it for swing trading. Um, it's only going to really support a trade duration up to a month. You could certainly have trades in the journal that lasted longer than a month, but it's only gonna track trades up to about a month in duration. Uh, maybe at some future version, we'll figure out a way to uh, calculate other units besides minutes like hours and days. But for right now, it is set up to calculate calculate uh, whole time and minutes. So as we look at this thing, what I wanna show you right here is the way that we can kind of filter down our data and make sense of this. You can see that we have all these different instrument types that you can track in this journal. So no matter what you trade, this journal should have you covered. You can trade options, you can track things like uh, calls, puts, or maybe even option spreads. Of course, if you're trading good old equity, shares of a stock, uh, future contracts, Forex, and even crypto. So for example, let's say that I, I trade all of these things, which this journal does have trades of all of these instruments in it. And I only want to look at my crypto trades. So I just come over here and click on crypto, make it super easy. And I can see my performance across the dashboard has been updated to reflect only my crypto trades. You can see that the first trade uh, in the journal was a crypto trade with almost a three and a half hour win. The 10th trade here in the journal was also a crypto trade with almost an 8R win. And then the next two trades, the 16, uh, trade number 16, trade number 30, just 1R losses and so on. You can see over here that our biggest win with crypto is a $2,300, our biggest loss was $1,000, uh, and so on. So again, we can really easily filter down. And as you click these filters and you start filtering down your data, everything on the slicers is going to update to show you what you're looking at. So looking at crypto here, it looks like there's three different time frames that we have traded on. There's all these setups that we traded with crypto. We have some long and some short trades, and all of our crypto trades were in account number three. 
Over here, you can see the ticker symbols that were traded with crypto, and you can see the dates that actually have crypto trades listed here. And we can see what entry process, exit process, management, and trading errors that we have logged within those crypto trades. So we can come over here and clear that filter out. Let's say that we wanna filter by a specific account. You can track up to four different accounts in the journal and you can give them unique names. Let's say that we wanna look at all the trades that we've taken in account number two. If we click on that, you'll see that again, everything on the dashboard updates. It looks like account number two, we've lost about $3,800. We can see our profit factor, our average risk, and all of these metrics for that specific account. These are the ticker symbols that we have traded inside of that account. So we can narrow it down even further. Maybe we want to come and look at just the Amazon trades. Look like there's only one trade in the journal uh, with Amazon and account number two. Uh, and it was a losing trade, right? And then as we go through and filter down our data, if we want to go back, we of course just go out and clear out our filters and we get back to where we are seeing all of the trades inside of the journal. Uh, if we want to come in and maybe dive into our setups and help us find our edge in the market, uh, clearly, it seems like the PCH and the Black Magic setup seem to be the best for us, but maybe you want to dive into why this flag setup isn't working out very well for us. So let's come over here and click on the flag setup, and we're going to filter everything down to just that particular setup. Looks like we lost about $6,200 there. Uh, profit factor says no data because there's simply no winning trades. You can see that we took a total of four trades here in the journal. Two of them were long, two of them were short, but not one of them was a winning trade. So of course, you have to have both winning and losing trades to calculate things like profit factors. So you might see that pop up here in the journal. But when we dive into this, we can see that, okay, trade number eight and trade number 30 were both basically one hour losses. What I'm interested in is what happened here on trade number 31? Looks like we had almost a two hour loss. Let's come over here and click on edit trade. That's gonna pop open this little uh, trade history window that I coded. And we can come down here and take a look at trade number 31. Let's pull this up. We'll click on edit here. It opens this thing and we could actually come in here and edit this trade right here inside of the journal just using this window but what's great is I can go in here and figure out you know what happened here so we traded square looks like we shorted some puts there's the flag set up 60 minute time frame Looks like we took 15 contracts on it. We were supposed to be risking $1,000, but somehow we managed to lose $1,800. Well, let's come over here. Uh, so entry process looks like we got in late. Uh, stop loss was the exit reason, but however, we look at management and then we moved our stop. So we traded outside of our risk, clearly. Plus we chased the trade on top of that. And then we have some notes here that says, you know, didn't sleep well, letting my foggy head trade outside of my risk. So really good example of how you can dive into a specific trade as you go through your data on your dashboard here and figure out you know, what happened and how can I improve in that particular area. So very, very powerful way, again, to filter through your data. Let's say that you wanna come in here and look at multiple things. You can select multiple things by coming in and let's say I wanna look at the PCH and the Blackmagic setup. So maybe I click on the PCH setup and then I can, uh, uh, select this multi selector here and then also select the black magic setup. So that will crunch the numbers. There we go. Now we're only looking at trades with the PCH setup and the black magic setup. Uh, maybe I want to narrow that down a little bit further and look at only 60 minute PCH and black magic setup. So I can come in here and select the 60 minute time frame. Okay, we filtered it down even further. Looks like we're looking at uh, six trades total here. Uh, some of those were, were uh, with calls, crypto, and future. Let's click on the call and see what we get here. Okay, so now we're filtering things down even further. Again, we're looking at only the black magic and the PCH setup on the 60 minute time frame and calls. So there were four trades taken and it looks like one of them was a really nice winner. And then just a couple of other uh, one loss and a couple of other small losses. You can see that the ticker symbols we traded with those specific filters are listed here and the dates here. Okay, so as we filter down our data, when we're done, we go through and we kind of clear out these filters here. We'll get back to where we're looking at everything in the journal. Um, as you start adding a lot of trades in the journal, you're gonna have like over hundreds of trades. These charts here will probably get pretty compressed but what you can do on this overall performance chart, you can come in over here and zoom out and look at it on a month by month basis instead of a day by day basis. But the other thing you can do is really filter down and look at a shorter time frame, right? So let's say I only want to look at the trades that I took in February. Click on February and now you can see that we're only looking at February. Uh, maybe I want to also include March. We'll drag this over like that and now we're looking at only February and March or maybe I wanna include the whole first quarter, right? So we're just three months, okay? So again, we can filter down our data to look at just that. 
Okay, so that's a great example of how you can filter through your data. Uh, just a quick run through the rest of the journal here. Here is the trades page. This is where all of the trades are stored in a table format. And as I showed you with the user forms that I created, you don't have to come in here and enter your trades in in the traditional method that you would with an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, you can access that over here on this page as well by clicking that add edit button. Here is your trade history, the same as what you're seeing back here. You can come in here and select any one of these and click on edit and you can edit that trade. You can delete the trade or you can also click on new to create a new trade all within this user form right here. We'll close all of this down. If we go to the settings page, this is gonna be where you can come in and customize the journal. As I said, you can track up to four different accounts in this journal. You can give them unique names. So let's say that maybe you only trade two accounts. You could delete these. You could maybe call this one your day trading account and you could call this one your swing trading account. You would enter the beginning balance for each of these accounts. And then once you set these up, when you create your, uh, when you're just setting up your journal, you do not change them again, right? So when you set these up, it's going to change all of your menu options throughout the journal and, uh, and you're all good to go. Now you could come in at a later date and add a couple more accounts here if you, if you needed to, but otherwise it's, that's how easy it is to come in here and uh, set up your accounts. Um, over here is where you can customize things like the names of the setups that you like to trade. You can track up to 10 different setups inside of the journal and you can give each of them unique names. Let's say that you only trade three setups. You can delete these and then you can change the names of these three setups to whatever you like to trade. Um, likewise, you can track up to 10 different time frames. You can track your entry process, your exit process, your trade management, and things like trading errors or emotions, whatever you wanted to uh, call it over here on this side, you can change the names of those and track um, up to 10 different things there as well. Um, here's where you enter in the closing price of the S&P as of your first trade date that allows you to compare your performance directly to that of the market. And then lastly here, you can track account transactions such as deposits, withdrawals, dividends, and interest. And that way you keep your account balances up to date. All right, guys, so with all of that said, how do you get a copy of this journal? Well, I'll put a link in the description below, but if you head over to my website, texttrading.net, you'll be able to access it through the store. I am gonna be charging for this given the amount of work. I think you can see that the journal has uh, a lot of features incorporated into it. I spent a lot of time on this, so I think it's well worth it. I'm making it very affordable for you guys. I'm offering it here for a promo promotional rate of $24.95, and it is a one-time fee. So once you uh, come down here and you purchase it on my website, your credit card payment will be process through Stripe. And uh, once that's done, it will email you a link to download the journal and uh, it will be all yours. Now, some requirements here, it does require Microsoft Excel 2016 or later. Um, Office 365 is preferred, but basically it just needs to support the pivot table features, whichever Excel version you are using. Um, so it does require Excel to be running on your computer. It's not gonna work on Excel for the web and it's not gonna work or is it supported for Google Sheets. And then also it's not designed as a first in, first out transactions. Uh, journal. So in other words, it doesn't track every single transaction. If you had multiple entries and multiple exits in and out of one trade, it's not really designed to track each of those transactions because there's simply not a an import feature at this time. It's something I'm looking at doing in the future that would allow you to import all of your transactions from your broker. But for right now, I wanted a journal where I could track my performance on a trade by trade basis. So just keep that in mind. Um, lastly, all sales are final just because of the nature of the product. I can't verify returns, but if you have a problem with it or anything, I will provide support. You can contact me through the website or if you follow me on Twitter or Discord, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me there and I will definitely be happy to, uh, to help you out. So guys, I really appreciate you tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this journal. I look forward to uh, hearing your feedback and as always, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you soon.